Kylie Kangaroo's Karate Kickers by Barbara Du Robertis, illustrated by R. W. Alley, read by Ben Hobbs. Kylie Kangaroo was keen on keeping fit. She liked to hike. She liked to fly her kite. She liked to play kickball with the other kids at Alpha Betty's school. One day, Cora Koala stopped to watch the kickball game. When it was finished, Kylie walked over. Hi, Cora, she said. What's up? Cora smiled. Kylie, I've been thinking. I like the way you kick when you play kickball. Would you like to take karate lessons at my club? Oh, yes, said Kylie. I think I would love karate. I'd like to learn some kicking tricks, and I'd love to learn to break a brick. Okie dokie, said Cora. Here's a free ticket to join my karate club. With those kickers, you'll pick up karate quickly. Kylie worked hard at Cora's karate club. She did have powerful kickers, but Kylie's kicks often missed the mark. Her tricks did not click, and she could not break a brick. Ouch, 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 cried Kylie as she whacked a brick. I am not a karate kid. I am a karate klutz. Cora Koala spoke to Kylie. Take my lucky kerchief, Kylie. I was wearing it when I was crowned king of the karate kickers. Cora handed Kylie the kerchief. Just tie this around your neck, he said. It will help you do kicks and tricks. It will help you break stacks of bricks. Thank you, Cora, said Kylie. Now Kylie worked even harder at Cora's club. Her kicks and tricks started to click. It looked as if Cora's kerchief was working. But Kylie still had to learn how to break a brick. She practiced her kicking for weeks and weeks. One day, Cora was waiting outside the club for Kylie. I think today's the day, Kylie, said Cora. I think you're ready to break a brick. Woohoo! Kylie cried. She streaked into the club like a rocket. Cora picked up the lucky kerchief Kylie had dropped. Her, uh, his eyes twinkled as he tucked it into his pocket. Inside, Kylie picked out a big, thick brick. Then she took a quick look at herself in the mirror. She was shocked. Oh no, Kylie cried. I've lost Cora's lucky kerchief. It's okay, Kylie, said Cora. You can do it without the kerchief. Still, Kylie panicked. She looked at the brick, then she quickly gave it a kick. Ouch, Kylie cried. That didn't work. Oh, Cora, I do need the lucky kerchief. Keep your cool, Kylie, said Cora. Take your time and think. You've worked hard for weeks and weeks. The key to breaking the brick isn't the lucky kerchief. The key is you. Kylie took a deep breath. She carefully set up the big, thick brick, and she looked at it for a long time. Then Kylie spoke. You know, Cora, I think I can break this brick. Crack! Kylie cracked the brick in two. Cora Koala cheered. Way to go, Kylie. What a kick. Someday you'll have a black belt in karate. Kylie Kangaroo kicked her kickers higher than she'd ever kicked before. Just then, Kylie looked at Cora's pocket. Cora, you have the lucky kerchief. Cora smiled. Yes, Kylie, he said. His eyes twinkled brightly. Kylie Kangaroo gasped. Oh, you've had the kerchief all along. Then she began to laugh. Cora, said Kylie, you were right. I didn't need the kerchief. I broke that brick on my own. Then Kylie Kangaroo kicked her kicker so high she came clunking down and she broke a whole stack of bricks without even trying. Fun facts about kangaroos. Most kangaroos live in Australia. Their families belong to the family called macropods, meaning large foots. Female macropods all have pouches where they keep their babies after they're born. Kangaroos travel the only large animals that only move by hopping. They can hop forward, but not backward. Did you know kangaroos use their large legs and feet for fast hopping, amazing leaping, and powerful kicking? <laughs>